Why? Why is everyone obsessed with Fang? Is it the money, the free food, the bragging rights, or is it the promise of success and financial freedom? By the way, that house that was just shown right there, ain't no way you're affording that house on a uh, on a Fang salary. That is, I mean, look at this. It even has like some person right here hanging out. Ain't no way that's a Fang salary, okay? That is like Jeffrey Epstein Island salary, okay? That that you don't get that. You don't get that there, okay? This person definitely into some weird, weird stuff. You can just tell right away. Inspired to be. It's become the ultimate end goal for many software engineers, even if only a handful of people ever make it there. Either way, I wanted to find out why everyone seems to be obsessed with these tech giants. Just what was so damn... Uh, Microsoft's not part of Fang. Last time I checked, there's no M in Fang. Okay, well, okay, well, maybe they're, they're recently, okay, so there is an M in FANG, but it's for Meta, it's not for, it's not for Microsoft, okay, and we all know it's called Manga now, um, and that's, okay, so yes, there is an M, but it's not Microsoft. Special about them. To start, we need to rewind back to when the term FANG was first coined. The acronym Jim first came about long ago in 2013, back when some of you were hopefully old enough to know what Zoomies, Hit Clips, and MySpace were. Jim Cramer, a finance... Jim Cramer's only success story is that he was able to say the word fang, okay? Like, that's literally it, because his investment, like, if you follow his investments, it's negative 30% year over year. Some absurd loss. The inverse, yeah, the inverse Cramer fund is, like, it, it, it is done super well. It's done super, super well. Uh, by the way, 69%. Nice. 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 Negative 30% is impressive. I know it's actually hard to be that bad at investing. Guru coined the term FANG. Yes, that's right. It was only four letters back then. Apple hadn't quite become part of the gang yet. These American technology companies represented Facebook. a rise to exponential My, wait, market. What? That's twice they've shown Microsoft. She can't just keep dropping Microsoft in here because Microsoft's not a part of FANG. Okay, it's not a part of FANG games by doubling their value in the previous five years. Now, just to give you a picture of what that looks like, here's a look into how Facebook, Amazon, Google, and Netflix were doing back then. Come 2017. Okay, so this isn't necessarily, uh, this isn't what it looks like today. I would just like to let you know that um, Netflix stock over the last five years has had a little bit different of a ride, okay? Okay, like look, it just it, it's not quite the same. We've kind of fallen off. It's it's it was literally so over, but we're so back. Like we're coming back. Okay, we're, we're we've caught back up to 2020 June 2020 times. Okay, COVID. Yeah, people thought Netflix was gonna live forever during COVID. People will just sign up indefinitely as if they're permanently locked in. We can finally add Apple to the mix as well. Nowadays, however, I I Fang is more Apple. representative of some of the most prestigious tech companies to work for, Fair. especially as a software engineer. Their stereotype is... I would, I would agree with that. Whoever works at a Fang company is obviously not only good at coding, but probably sexy, great at communicating, uh, you know, pr probably is, 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 probably has like more than an eight charisma on Baldur's Gate. You know, like all, all, all the things, you know what I'm talking about? Probably. I'm just saying probably. Having amazing compensation packages, great work-life balance, and great benefits. Okay, I don't have a compensation package problem, okay? I'm not trying to compensate for anything, okay? Everything's fine. Please, we don't need to make... We don't need to make, kind of make those so jokes. So, what's the catch? Oh, you just have to go through the dreaded semi-broken interview process. Shrunken down to the size of nickels and dropped to the bottom of a blender. What do you do? You take her flat on your right, back right, like right. this. You just lay back, enjoy lay that breeze. Board, a Pretend it's a grinding data structure. By the way, that actually is such a good answer. If I were to ask a, a stupid ass question, such as you were a nickel in a blender, how would you get out? And they said, just wait for it to burn out. I'd be like. <laughs> like that answer is so good. That answer is perfect. It's literally a perfect answer. Uh, it's incredible. It's incredible. That movie isn't half bad. The movie really isn't half bad. Uh, ask stupid questions, get stupid answers. Yeah, I don't do stupid questions. I haven't had a stupid brain teaser question since I uh, 
since I worked at Web Filings, which is now known as Workiva. But they asked me how many water wing, what state has the most water wing sales per capita? And I said, what's a water wing? They said, oh, water wings, those little things that they put on their arms. And I immediately said, ah, easy. Uh, the most water wing sales per capita of any state is clearly Utah. They are Mormons and they have a lot of children. Boom goes the dynamite. Boom goes the dynamite. Said that in an interview. Said that in an interview. Gave my reasoning. Bam, got hired. I will say that I did get hired. Structures and algorithms for the next six months of your life. And compete against hundreds of thousands of applicants in order to even get your resume looked at in the first place. How'd it go? Uh, not well. All right then. It's no secret. By the way, um, if you want your resume to be to be looked at, right? The thing is, is you can't just do what everyone else does. That's something that I notice a lot of people do is they're like, okay, to get hired, I got to just grind leak code. I'm going to say I've answered 142 leak code questions. Uh, I'm going to make a portfolio page. Here's my portfolio page, right? And they just do each one of those things along the way. And they do, do the exact same thing that every last other person does. Stop doing that, right? Like I think what TJ did is way, way better. He picked the thing he really, really likes on the internets. And he started committing to it. He is a core maintainer of NeoVim. That carries 10 times more authority than I just got done finishing 47 leak code problems, right? It just is not the same. You throw a little core maintainer on some very popular, like 50,000 star repo, you got some, you got some, uh, you got some credibility that other people just simply don't have. Leak code's good to do. Learn the handshake, right? You know they're about to ask you some like, okay, now you got a bunch of islands sitting in the ocean. How many islands do you have? I need you to count them. You got to know how to do that stupid ass question. Okay, you got to. But at the exact same time, guess what? How do you stand out? that getting into Fang is really difficult. It is. Most people never even end up getting past the resume screening process, let alone actually landing a job there. Can we just can we just back up for a quick second? I gotta see that I gotta see that resume again. Ask the resume. Look at that photo, smelling what appears to be flowers, giving me that high school side look. You know what I'm talking about? Oh hey, yeah, this is my resume. Right? Like I mean, that is that's some serious. That's 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 some serious. Some serious sleigh right there, okay? Screening process, let alone actually landing a job there. Her so multi-monitor setup? Why do okay, that is, okay, true, true and factual, by the way. Let alone uh, This setup right here is pissing me off. It's three monitors with the same image on all three of them? I don't like that. Also, left to right. That's, I, I mean, I've, I have actually never seen a left to right. So, that's cool. Never seen that, but awesome. But nonetheless, there's something about this that's making me angry, okay? Actually landing a job there. Oh, it's get it's so a then, get diff merge. Why do people still pursue Fang against all odds? Every year there are thousands of software engineering roles around the world that go unfilled. Yet the competition for getting into these top tech companies has become even fiercer. Yeah, the first reason yeah. may be obvious, but Fang is known for giving huge financial packages to their employees. Their packages are I hear that helps. I hear people tend to like money. Do you like money? I like money. We should hang out, right? That, that's like literally a line off of idiocracy. Of course, everyone wants a huge package, okay? Everyone wishes they had a huge package, okay? Typically broken. But hey, by the way, huge packages, they're not uniform at Fang. I'll tell you that much. Down into a base salary, sign-on bonus, and annual bonus. I have never got now, a sign-on bonus. Thing most people or also an, I've gotten one annual bonus in my entire lifetime. Who here gets all these annual bone eyes? I, I've never got a sign on bonus or an annual bonus. What is this? I want that. Annual boners. <laughs> got them. And about are the benefits. I the compensation had one, package quite, okay. is really important, but if you're not getting good health care, great maternity or paternity leave, or even the ability to get your education paid for, you may end up spending most of your compensation. Netflix has a terrible, terrible medical. Uh, uh, benefits. Uh, it's designed f for single people. It's not designed for people with family. I pay $1,000 per paycheck pre-tax 
for medical. It is honestly like the worst place for medical. Like zoinks, dude! America moment. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not an America moment. Don't worry, you pay just as much in your taxes wherever you're from. That's an America thing. We don't pay any money for, for medical. Okay, they're a tough guy. I'm sure you pay no money for medical. It just is magically free somehow. Yeah, it's called taxes, okay? You just pay it a different way. <laughs> Station package on those things anyways. And Fang is notorious for outbidding its competitors when it comes to these benefits, right? Large pools of talent who don't live around the big cities and aren't willing to move there. There are a lot of people in the U.S., um, and in Canada and ultimately around the world who I think we and other companies that besides for the fact that Mark Zuckerberg delivers messages like he is actually struggling to breathe while you know he's like the meme where he, where where he's drowning and someone high fives the person drowning that's like Mark Zuckerberg communicating he he actually seems like he's about to die at any moment go in this direction We'll be able to access. <laughs> well, I decided to do some sleuthing to find out. That was a hostage First, video. First, I wanted to compare compensation packages. While browsing through Levels.fyi, I was able to get a more holistic view of some of the biggest tech companies and their oh, offers. Netflix mentioned. Let's Levels go. FYI, for those of you who don't know, Oof. is sort of a real-time way great. of tracking offers for each company in each location Let's go, for Netflix. each level. Real employees enter in this information, so it's seen as the closest source of truth when it comes to comparing salary. You know what the good news is? Is this is all self-reported uh, numbers, and so you know for a fact that people definitely don't lie. I mean, that's the nice part is people definitely don't lie about salaries ever, right? Like, it, totally a normal thing to do is to never lie ever, uh, to be completely honest. Please. Now, if we look at Facebook or Meta, we can see that the average compensation package for an entry-level software engineer is $185,000. That's a whopping sum of money. But let's look a little bit closer. The base salary seems to be $122,000 Yeah, I was about to say, you year, get a lot in other and stuff. And the stock is twenty. Stock is kind of confusing because it totally depends on your refreshes and all this. Uh, it could actually be, these can be very deceptive. So if you work at Facebook, your first year could be good, right? You get all this stuff, but you don't get any of this money for the whole waiting for you first to vest. And then not only that, if the next year you don't get another stock grant for another four-year vesting window, you effectively lost like 30% of your salary. And not only that, but when it vests, the moment it vests, the actual shares you get get taxed on the vest in, right? Uh, hundred for your 22 well, is pretty good. Bonus. Well, the problem is, is 122. Most of these people are living in cities where 120 is like not great, right? It's it's $120,000 in San Francisco. You're not living a great life, okay? Yeah, you're not in the tenderloin, but it's still quite tender where you're at. You know what I mean? It it ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't, it ain't great being at that, right? America moment? No, this exists in Japan and other places, too. Any large city is very expensive. It ain't homeless. This is facts. It's not pod life. This is facts. Uh, this this is facts. London? London's a tremendously expensive. Tokyo, blah, 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 blah. Any large city is expensive. Anytime you center a bunch of people around a certain area, not in Latin America, baby. Yeah, I don't, I don't I'm not, I'm not, uh, I don't understand Latin America, so I don't. I don't really understand any place. To tell you the truth, I live in I live in rural ass South Dakota. You think I understand what other people do? Okay, I lived in the the Bay Area for six years. You think I understand shit? I don't understand shit. Is twenty thousand okay. dollars? The sign-on bonus usually goes away after the first or yeah. second year, See? and the stock usually sign -on sticks bonus around is, for is four fake. years on a vesting schedule. So you'll still want to perform well Handshake. in order to get raises that will eventually make up for the loss of the bonuses. Yeah. Not only that, but all of these recent salaries are either in California, Seattle, or New York. This greatly skews the data because it's based on cost of living. Yep. This is a great graph, by the way. This is a great graph. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're not as cheap as Wyoming, granted. But we're still not New York or any of these places, right? This stuff is all crazy in here, right? I lived right there. I lived right in the butthole of California. Rip Colorado living, yeah. Colorado sucks. Dude, Colorado sucks. AK is very expensive. Alaska is super expensive because to get anything up there is really, really hard. You got to remember that there's like a whole ass mountain range 
it's just a whole ass mountain range up there, right? That you have to go through. There's this place called Canada. I know. I thought it was fake too. It turns out it's real, and it exists for th- like a thousand miles before you hit Canada. Before you hit Alaska, it's crazy. It's crazy. There's just so much Canada up there. It just keeps happening. Birds are also fake. Yeah, I know. We already talked about. We already talked about that. If a studio apartment costs $1,200 in the Midwest, it may end up costing $3,000 in the Bay Area. This is actually, that's Likewise, actually a pretty fair uh, assessment. A 12, well, it's not very fair. Uh, a studio apartment in, say, Rapid City, South Dakota would be, you're probably looking at like six to $800, maybe even $500 to $700. In, the, in San Francisco, that same exact same apartment will be probably closer to $4,000 cost of living it's it's just different Shopping, do they even have studio apartments there not really are all going to be Very relatively little. expensive compared to other parts of the country now don't get me wrong these are huge salaries is that your car on the lot yeah it's yeah. a jag yeah 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 you make a lot of money yeah i do all right for myself how much, how much money do you make i don't know Seventy thousand last month <laughs> i'm serious <laughs> Yeah, no. It's just that the sole number doesn't always That's tell so the great. whole picture. Now, let's contrast these salaries with someone living in the South. There's not a ton of data here, but it looks like $130,000 is the estimation. This salary is way better than getting $185,000 in one of the more expensive cities. That's a good point. That's a good point. Become Florida man. That's all you got to do. All you got to do is become Florida man. Once you become Florida man, you get lower cost of living. Your salary is not as as much lower, and boom, now you're loving it, okay? Florida man, become Florida man. Uh, just don't become South Dakota man, okay? I don't want any. I don't want to see a single one of y'all move to South Dakota, okay? Get the hell out of here. Go to Florida. Go to Idaho for all I care. Just stay out of stay out of South Dakota. Go to Wyoming, okay? Wyoming needs you. Because these places are over 25 to 40 percent more expensive, you end up getting a bigger bang for Not your even buck. 25 to 40 Similarly, so if expensive. you're looking for companies in other parts of the country that are still performing well, places such as Accenture, U.S. Bank, Target, American Express, just to name a few, a the interview process isn't as crazy, and b the salaries are pretty comparable in their relative areas. When it comes to the benefits, don't tell them about Ohio. First off. Um, uh, Ohio prox, uh, proximity map, right? First off, you should... F- we're all in danger of Ohio, okay? Do you see this? Do you see that? Like, you're in Ohio. Like, danger zone. I mean, I live... I, I don't even live in the illusion of safety. I still have enough time to hug my wife before Ohio. You're not safe in Montana. It's just the illusion of safety. Everybody knows this, okay? Ain't nothing good about Ohio. Don't trust it. Not going to trust it. I mean, I do like this general advice she's giving, which is that you, it's you don't have to work at Fang to make good money. There's this illusion that somehow Fang, you make all the money and other places you don't. That's not necessarily true. And also the inverse of it is also true, which is just because you work at Fang doesn't mean you're going to work crazy hours. And if you work somewhere else, you may actually work crazier hours than Fang. The hardest job I've ever had as far as hours went was not a Fang job. It was actually uh, a startup going into IPO phase, Right. Like, that was the worst job I've had to do as far as hours went. I was working, like, 80 hours a week constantly. Like, that's really that's really hard. It's harder to find concrete data here. It really does depend on each company and how much they value their employees. I would look at the type of healthcare, including concentration of in-network providers in your area, yep. rates, HSA good stuff. account options, and deductibles, 401k investment options, number of... By the way, 401k never exceed... You know, this is not financial advice, but me personally, I've never exceed the amount of employer match because 401k is just like not a really, it's not a great investment. It's not, it's, I mean, it's, it's not like a huge W. The background music is love. I know the background music probably need to chill out that background music. Um, I think this video would be a lot better without background music, honestly. Days the off, match is a W because you double your money. Spending money for at-home office, maternity leave, and sabbaticals. All of these are important when it comes to calculating your total compensation package. 
So it's a big W for you peons. No, it, it's it's not a big W. It's never going to be a big W. A big W would be that you save up and try to get yourself a nice rental. Uh, that's much, much, much better, and that will be better in 20 years. Roth IRA, significantly better. Uh, stonk market, you can pretty much do better. If you have a self-directed 401k, it's a little bit better, right? Then you get a self-direct, but then you got to be a good investor. And let's just face it, most of you are going to invest like Jim Cramer. You're going to be a negative 30, okay? You're going to be a negative 30%. You're going to be Jim Cramer of your life, and you're going to hate yourself for it. Moving on to the second reason, which is working with amazing technology. Ooh. Every day, these tech companies seem... This is such a fallacy, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let her cook, and then I'm going to just destroy it all. ...to be in the news when it comes to using the most groundbreaking technology. First, it was Amazon's cloud services and Meta's metaverse, and then it was Google's immersive view. Using advances in 3D mapping and machine learning, we are fusing billions of aerial and street-level images to create a new high fidelity representation of a place. These breakthrough technologies are coming together to power a new experience in maps called Immersive View. It allows you to explore a place like never before. There's no doubt. Uh, so I'm gonna ruin this now. Um, so working with amazing technology. Here's the reality of working at any fan company. They've been around for 20 plus years. Most of the things you're gonna be working on, the 99% of people, they will just simply be working on non-greenfield projects. They'll be working on existing and maintenance, uh, maintenance and new features on an old application, okay? That's the reality is, what does TVUI code base look like? We adopted React in 2015, 2016, somewhere right in there. That means we have class components. We have class components with unsafe operations. We have higher order components, tons of higher order components. Use ref, use memo, forward ref, all that crap everywhere. We also have functional components. We have hooks. We have uh, lots of use effects. Now we don't have use effects. We have all of them all over the place because that is what it looks like maintaining an application longer than, you know, 30 minutes. When people tell you how great something is, you got to remember that the reality of larger companies that have been around for a long time is going to be an amalgamation of all the ideas that have ever been tried throughout web technologies for the last 15 years and it's just going to be an emotional burden to go through that and it's a continuous practice of trying to upgrade what was into what will be it is a unique experience so do you get to work with awesome technology not always sometimes you do there are times where you get to kind of like create something that's cool but the reality is that's not uh, always a real thing you know what i mean out that a lot of these tech companies house some of the most interesting projects and use the coolest technology. Yeah. So is all of this hype even true? Well, it's definitely true it. that these companies have to work at a tremendous Netflix. scale Netflix. compared to other companies. So in that sense, they are more efficient about solving problems that take old, into consideration. You work in a 30-year-old Java code base? Java's not 30 years old, dog. Java, got, Java was released in what, 1996? When was Java uh, created? 1995, boom. It's only 29 years old, so suck it, okay? I'm, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Okay, it's not even 29. It's technically like 28 and a half, okay? Uh, almost 30. Just sorry. Sorry I just myth bust that one so hard, okay? I, you know, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I, you know, I work at also a sucky one. Yeah, guess what? Get wrecked, son. Um, anyways consideration heavy load sorry. lots of traffic <laughs> not sorry, as well actually. as storing and sorting a huge amount of data this is not always an easy you just feat, place so as we do have a limited amount of computing resources to actually deal with all of these transactions they need to learn to take a creative approach to solving these larger problems what, What's going on? what? It just got so loud it's getting low. Therefore, it only seems natural that these companies would reinvest into obtaining the best technology as it directly affects their profit margins. Investing in new technology takes time and money, and sometimes these smaller companies can't afford to pay employees to work on R&D for the sake of innovation. You know, I've actually had um, the most unique and cool things I've ever worked on have not been at FANG companies. They've actually been at smaller companies. And the reason why that happens is that smaller companies are attempting to uh, 
they're attempting to make something new. And so you're actually working on something new usually. You're working on something that's different. Yeah, sure, you're not going to work on React, right? You're not going to build Svelte. You're not going to build Solid. That's something that a big company is going to do or someone that's just staying up all night programming by themselves are going to do. You're not going to work on some super cool open source thing, but you're definitely going to work on way more... Un- you, the chance of unique technology per square inch is way larger in a smaller company than it is in a bigger company. Company. For sure, absolutely, because you got this whole age problem. You have what are you trying to innovate on, right? It's just different, you know? It's just different. Uh, small startups is where I did the most new cool projects in Elixir. Yeah, yeah. These However, nuts, right? because these companies are also creating a lot of the new tech, they're also confined to using their own tech to hit the bottom line. For example, it would make more sense for Amazon employees to use AWS versus GCP or Azure. Isn't that right? Hey, where's Chelstastic? Is that what happens over at Twitch? You guys use an AWS technology at Twitch? Of course you are, okay? We all know what happens. Amazon bought you, took your delicious video algorithm, turned it into a service, and you know what they're going to do with that. They're going to sell it. They're going to sell it to Kick. okay? They're selling it to Kick.com competitor. Kick is currently paying Amazon probably more than they make from Twitch, to have an experience like Twitch, okay? Like, we already know what's going on here, okay? The financials have been thought through here, okay? This is not some crazy experience. They know. They know for a fact. They're like, ah, man, how are we going to ever make money and not have to worry about advertising or moderation or anything? Oh, I got an idea. Let's just sell video as a service. Regardless of if the latter was a better option, if Amazon doesn't even use its own product, why would others follow suit? Because of this, people at Google may be confined to using Angular, even if React is... Imagine. <laughs> hey, man, I'm going to go work at Google. I'm going to go work on an amazing project. Hey, so we're going to need you to make a small upgrade to one of our legacy projects. It is is and happens to be angular 1.6 and we're going to need you to bring it into modernity is that a problem it should be but before you do anything we want you to write a technical artifact about how you how one would go about doing it then we want you to start going about doing it to take a quick break write another technical artifact on how you are planning to accomplish each individual hurdle and then at the end i would like you to actually document the project because before we didn't document it and now it's your responsibility to document this heap of trash fire more than inverted binary or people at microsoft may only use c sharp in the dot net framework rather than exploring java or kotlin So in a way, it's a cycle of independence that ends up severing the shareability of tech between companies. And at the end of the day, one company can't make the best solutions for everything. So it needs... I really actually liked that last uh, image right there. The end of the this day, is, one we, we talk can't... about this quite a bit that we have. I think all large companies have this problem, which is reinvent the wheel syndrome. Right. OK, C Sharp is not the best. Make it's the best true. solutions for everything. That's so one problem about working in a larger company, a fan company. Is that may or may you will end up having, you have literally a product that's like something that exists in open source. It's just not as good and locked into um, and locked into your infrastructure. So you're like, yeah, we also have Docker, but it's not as good Docker. It's like not Docker. Okay, it's like kind of, you know, you know, it's like the same thing, right? Like it's it it can be very painful. May not be created by other companies. Yeah. It's while marker. working at Target, a retail company. A- HTMX they is acted the best. very much so like a tech company. They okay. did have some in-house products such as their CI/CD process, but they also had the freedom to be language agnostic between each they team. They chose Rust. Chose Depending Rust. On Come the on. The problem each team had to tackle, they weren't confined to the language they most recently created or the framework. That that they had patented mostly because they never actually created those things in the first place that's that i mean i would say that if you if if you don't have that problem obviously you're going to choose cobol the world's greatest programming language of all time uh that's probably what target uses right now i mean it's been around since you know the 60s obviously obviously it has a lot of uh, it has a great standard library it's been well developed and maintained it's probably one of the best out there 
Another problem with this perception is Second that a lot of the image. groundbreaking projects that make it to the news are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to available work at these companies. The sheer reality is that Google will specifically hire PhD candidates that have spent their entire lives researching human-computer interaction when it comes to creating lifelike service robots that interact with people at a checkout lane. They won't be looking Nothing, by the way, look at that chicken neck. You can, if you're wondering what a chicken neck is, it's when your ear exceeds your shoulders and you keep on letting it, they call that chicken necking, okay? This man is chicken necking on his multi-thousand dollar laptop. Just get an effing monitor, okay? Get a setup. What is this, chicken, chicken man? to the self-taught or bachelor's look, oh degree engineer look, look for that at, sort That's of not thing. chicken necking. You'd Good job. most likely be working on But you still have the tools. same image on three things. We got to work on this, okay? You can't have all these monitors. You can't be, you can't do this. You can't have all these monitors just to have the same thing on three different sides, okay? We need you to pick this up, okay? Changing the interactivity of a website okay, or adding better, functionality better, to an photo, already better. existing repo that lives deep within the company. Now, don't get me wrong, the engineering process is still really fun, but it's no different than working for a mid-size or unicorn company. In fact, because of... Okay, I thought this said WeFap. Okay, I thought it said WeFap. I, I didn't realize it said WeWork. Okay, um, I, I wasn't going to say anything, but that's what I saw because it said Flipkart here, and there's also a P, and my dyslexia put it all together, and I got WeFap. And I thought that was pretty inappropriate. I didn't realize that that was like the 14th largest company. I should have known better that if it was called WeFap, it'd probably be number one, beating out Ant Financial and Uber. With less resources being available at these smaller companies, it's actually more likely that you'd get more responsibility quickly at these other companies. So Facts. it's really up to you whether or Facts. not you want to be a big fish in a small pond or a small fish in a big pond. What happens if you're a small fish in a small pond? Just saying. I always thought I was going to be a small fish in a small pond. Instead, I'm just a small fish in a bigger pond now. It's the same thing. Just the pond keeps growing. Lastly, perception. Prestige. We as humans really care what other people think of us. It doesn't matter what how much was we convince that ourselves image that we don't attempting care, to but describe. Can somebody what tell me what we're trying to describe here? What am I trying to describe with this image? Okay. This is like the one piece when the guy was dancing around with the sword naked. You're just trying to figure out what the hell is this image trying to do because then it just makes no sense any further. Like the rest of his character changes completely. It doesn't matter like how much we convince ourselves that we don't care, is that but at allocation? some innate biological level, it does make us feel better when people think highly of us. It gives us a sense of self-worth and value <laughs> we in <fat> society. <laughs> this is much harder to convince people to change. It's a human trait rather than a physical goal. It just takes time and practice to let go of others' opinions and form your own and choose what's best for yourself. I'm not trying to persuade you not to work for Fang, rather to be more holistic when choosing a company. My biggest issue with this acronym is the fact that it's a half-truth. Fang used to represent exponential market growth for American tech companies, but the acronym still hasn't changed since then. Market growth changes all the time, which means we need to adjust our view of what prestige even means. Facts. Netflix clearly fallen off by the stock. We've already talked about this. We've already looked at the stock, but let's just look at it one more time. Okay. By the way, if you're wondering, Trash Dev started on this day. Okay. Trash Dev started October 29th, 2021. Look at what happened to Netflix stock afterwards. Netflix has completely fallen off since Trash Dev has been hired. You can tell right away it was a Netflix's biggest mistake is hiring Trash Dev. Uh, what are we going to we, we're, we're still trying to recover from hiring him. It's absolutely awful. If you don't know who Trash Dev is, then uh, obviously you're more trash than anybody else, okay? You shouldn't admit that out loud if you don't know who Trash Dev is. Apparently my autocomplete left me. He was here earlier. I've re I mean, I'm telling the truth. He really was. In this case, for example... Netflix, by the way. This year alone, Netflix is at an all-time low. It okay, this feels a little unfair. I feel like you're targeting me. Um, again, Trash Dev right here, everybody. Trash Dev right there. All right. Pre-watched, pre-watched, triggered, triggered. It no longer fits this definition. We're oh, so you're saying we're out of fang. You won't. 
I know for a fact you will not take the N out of Fang. Try it. Make my day. Make it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Give it a shot. You There's won't. Companies like you Square won't. and Microsoft have been doing pretty well for themselves. Not only Ridiculous. that, but there are so many fintech and unicorn companies out there that have a much higher rate of return if they end up going public. There are plenty of software engineers millionaires that end up getting rich it's from just, accepting. Oh my goodness. Because even if you try to say, well, we don't do Fang anymore and we changed it to Manga, well, guess what? Drop the N from that one. You got MAGA. You got MAGA or that other word that I'm not allowed to say. And guess what? I don't think it's going to work well for either of those two abbreviations, okay? You're not winning any of these arguments. So good luck. Good luck, guy. Drop Netflix. I dare you. Stock in a private company, only to be bought out or go public later and make a killing. Eventually, Kramer publicly announced his new version of the acronym FANG to MAMA, Meta, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, and Alphabet. This may stick around for a while until it changes once again. I'm out. I'm out. They did drop. Okay, well, I didn't see that one coming, okay? I didn't see that one coming, okay? Dang it! I gotta go work at Meta now. However, you won't- I wanna be able to get in that sweet mama. I don't see anyone referring to the top tech companies as mama. Fang is an acronym that is here to stay for whatever reason. <laughs> and although doing? the meaning has been diluted over time, what was the that brand baby doing? still represents the same level of wealth Freddie Mercury and knew. He did. that brought people into this industry years ago. At the end of the day, regardless of how true these factors may be, they measure quantifiable results that look good on desk. Yeah, hell yeah. That's this is actually how I uh, how I plan my projects. Is I draw a 3D furniture representation of what I'm about to Okay, it's not a desk. A desk. Okay, I realize that it's not a desk. Paper. It's amazing to have a fan company on your resume or tell Wait, do you guys actually put photos? On your resumes? I have never put a photo on my resume. I need to get a sweet high school photo with me doing that. I need to do that. I need to do this. No, stop saying no. We're all doing it, okay? We're all in it together, okay? Every Chelstastic, you're in it with me. We're all taking photos, high school style, and we're going to get this done. People at family dinner parties that you're a software engineer in big tech. But what we don't always measure is they're in this wild frenzy towards obtaining a job is how well we fit into the team dynamics. If there's a range of opportunities to learn and take on, are there more responsibilities? Is there a good work-life balance? There's no use working at one of these companies just to get burnt out within the next three years. That doesn't end up being sustainable in the long run. Working in the software engineering industry. I would argue that uh, working in a fan company, you probably have less chance of burnout. And I would argue that uh, working in a smaller company, you probably have more chances of burnout. I really think that work-life balance is probably worse in a lot of these other companies than it is in Fang. If you wish to climb the ladder at Fang, of course, you got to play by the game, which means that you have to be the hardest worker, which means, yeah, you're probably going to go for burnout. You're probably going to have to work super ultra ridiculously hard. You're going to have to work like 90 hours a week if you wish to be the, the tippity of the toppity uh, because the competition's internal competition and only the top, what, half percent are going to keep on rising. You're going to have to live in Ohio. It's, like, terrible. But uh, the reality is for those that don't want to live in Ohio, for those that don't want to be a part of that, they're going to just, they don't, you don't have to do that, right? That is not a requirement. is isn't just about coding. It's also a feeling of being needed, much like any other job. Oh. If you're a valuable contributor to I'm your team valuable. and have a good relationship with your teammates, Ohio's it just helps awesome. boost your motivation and curiosity even more. Because Nothing makes you feel more valued than when you work at a job and everyone's friends and everything's going great, and then they just fire your friend, and they're just like, well, he didn't cut it. Nothing like a nice small company to fire your friend. And now your family is broken. And now I'm interviewing for other families. All of a sudden, I have lots of family potentials. It's like all of a sudden, everybody wants to be a family member with me. Okay? I don't really get that. How many families does a one man need? To I don't know. Every day. Just some food for thought. Hopefully, when it comes time to make the big decision and jump to a company, you'll make one that's right for you. You mean Cali Ed? <laughs> okay, first off, don't call. Caliad, you cannot, you cannot possibly, I don't know if I'm even saying Caliad correctly, but Ohio is Caliad. Completely, completely fair. Um, okay, so I actually, there's actually a lot of things I really liked about this video. 
I was really genuinely surprised. There's a lot of things I genuinely liked about this video, which I really enjoyed the fact that uh, talked about that that Fang isn't the end all, and it's probably not even the best, honestly. I don't think Fang represents anything special these days. Uh, there was a time, I think, that Fang was really, really special, and that time probably died out by 2015. Uh, you know, it was it was a genuinely super hard thing to get into. It was super, super competitive. Uh, it was super, super all the fun stuff. I mean, even representing money, it's no longer, that's not even true anymore, right? There's plenty of, there's plenty of companies now, these mid-sized, larger size companies that are hiring tech workers for pretty much the same thing. You just get more in stocks, right? You get more ownership, you get more say. So is it true? I don't know if it's true anymore. Like I, I don't really buy any of that. And so I, I do think that that's a really great point. As far as the technology goes, you'll probably work on the worst and most boring technology at a fang company if you join one. Uh, I think that you're going to find a lot of things that are going to be boring and not awesome. Uh, fang companies can't – I think the thing is is that at a fang company, you have the chance for higher pay way easier, right? You have a – you. Uh, you have a much higher chance for pay. Is paying with equity even paying though? Of course, it just depends on the company. Uh, would you take a bunch of stock in a publicly traded company? Yeah, why not? It's the same thing. You're getting money. It's just in the form of stock. If you work at a company in which you inherently don't think is going to go up, why the hell are you working at a company in which you inherently don't think is going to go up? Work at a company in which you believe that the future is bright and then get stonks in it so that your money multiplies. You don't get some stupid ass stock that you never believe in, right? It would make no sense. Don't believe in, don't work at a company you absolutely don't believe in unless if you absolutely have to have a job, right? That, like, that makes no sense, right? So they can sell it from under you. That is literally not how the stock market works. What are you saying? Who's selling your stock out of underneath you? Okay, if you don't understand how the stock, uh, the stock market works, that's okay. You don't have to understand. You don't have to do that. All right. I want startup stocks. Yeah, startup stocks are really great. If if you think the stock uh, the stock market's going to make it, uh, that's I mean that's your real chance to build a lot of wealth. But you got to remember that any startup has like one in one thousandth chance to make it to like round B. And if you're going to make it to round B, you still have like another one in thousandth chance to make it into like an IPO where you can actually sell your stonks, right? Or to be bought by a company. It's like such a small chance. So working in a startup. Great. Are you going to become rich working in a startup? Yeah, right? Like most people just lose all their money at a, start, at a startup. Invest in Bitcoin. Yeah, you could just invest in Bitcoin. Clearly make all of your money because we all know that the future is going to be clearly Bitcoin. Okay? I'm going to go to the coffee shop. I'm going to pay. Bam. And we're going to wait f for the transaction to be verified. Okay? And it's going to be great. Then they're going to give me my coffee some percentage of an hour later. Mm, it's going to be beautiful. Uh, anyways, invest in yourself. Uh, pay. You got to hodl. I know. Who pays? Who, who buys coffee? Look at that guy. That's like a gasm face if I've ever seen it. Uh, anyways, I liked, I liked the video. I actually did like the video. I, I, I like the video. I think it was well done. I think it was well done. And I think that it, it hit on a lot of good points uh, that people – don't necessarily think through, especially young, especially younger engineers. They really like to just imagine this, like this, just incredible place that exists, and then every everywhere else is shitty. When it's probably more the inverse. Fang companies are large, probably filled with process and harder to move in. Younger, smaller companies, startups, you can move really fast and do a lot of cool stuff. That's probably that's probably the reality. Okay, hey, the name is the Fangagen.